Last week, when we lost our power, the refrigerator came back on and then uh, everything was freezing in there. And so I got looking around for a solution to that and, you know, everybody said, hey, it could either be the uh, thermosistor, although you're going to see in the video I call it thermosistor the whole time. I don't know. And then uh, they also could blame the dampener and um, the control board. But what you're going to find is that just looking around at it a little bit, I was able to save us a ton of money by just finding a simple solution. I still don't know exactly what caused it, but I found the problem and put it back together. And, uh, you know, just parts alone would have been anywhere from 40 to 180, depending upon the model of your refrigerator. Um, and if you had a repair guy come in, then you can add what, 50, 60, 70 dollars worth of labor to that as well, plus their markup on the parts. So, the trophy has her refrigerator back, and uh, you can see what I came up with. This is more of an instructional video. If you like these kind of videos, please uh, subscribe, click the bell. You can leave comments, even if you don't like the video, leave a comment about it. Thank you. air oh that's weird on the camera those things flash but in reality they're not flashing they've had it set on low and stuff still freezing So this is like a thermal resistor or something and that could be blown you know like power surges from the power outages and then this door is supposed to open and close a little bit I think and so I think that motor right there opens and closes that door so that could be bad but when I turned the temperature all the way down I didn't hear a click and I don't know if I was supposed to because this is fairly new. So I don't know if you'd hear click, because click is more like on the old thermostats. So with this being all fancy electronics, you might not hear that. You get the sucker tape down pretty well. All right, so I made some wire leads. We do this on the jets with safety wire, but um, I didn't have any of that here. Because how much stuff do you really safety wire at your house? So I'm using a keychain, a small little thin keychain that came on like some tiny little lock for maybe a suitcase or something. It's, Just get them tight enough so you get good continuity. I ohmed out both therm sisters on either side and got 25,000 down to 10,000 ohms depending upon the temperature that I applied to them and that seems appropriate. So you watch that little arm right there. I'm gonna ice bath the thermosistor. That little arm should move saying, hey, it's too cold, we need less air. There it goes, you heard it click, and the arm's moving, but there's nothing moving with it. So it makes me think that that door disconnected somehow. I don't see a part just laying around. You didn't find any white plastic in there, did you? suspicious but anyways as that thing warms up I'm gonna put my hand over it to speed it up a little you're gonna see that arm move there it goes it's moving 
and it pushed that door. I really think those hooks should be around that little arm. So this is what I'm trying to figure out right now. This damper opens between the refrigerator and the freezer, allowing cold air in and out. I've tested the Sensi inside of it using cold water bath, and that's pulling the this arm right here back and forth. The problem is this sits on its side in there, and so if it's on its side and that arm's not pulling on anything, that door's just going to stay open. I'm not sure how that came disconnected. Or even if it was connected or if there's something missing. And I can't find a good picture online. So I'm going to try and put this here in those slots on that. And see if that will open and close it. Somehow that came apart. I don't know if ice came across there and pushed it off or what. But, or there's a plastic piece missing, but I can't prove that because I don't see anything in the refrigerator. I see plenty of videos about replacing this whole part. I don't see anything that says that, that shows the part actually moving or um, like whether or not that door is supposed to fully close so I'm guessing right now so that does fit in there nicely so I would think I might need to try and force that arm out. Alright, so I just plugged it back into the refrigerator. Now you can see that arm significantly further out, which should allow it to connect back in here. Like that. And then like that. Now you can see those pieces that will focus. And it's running on that rail now. Now that door should close all the way when I ice bath at this thing. If I got enough ice in there still. There it goes. And that should pull that all the way closed. Just like that. And then... If I take it out of my ice bath... I'm going to use my hand to warm it up faster. There it goes. Opening back up because it's saying, Hey, one side's cold, one side's not. So now it's just a matter of tying everything back together. This doohickey went right down in there. is hot.
Hey, <laughs> get that off. I am not being in that. Trophy, your refrigerator's dead. <laughs> Finally, you only got home at 3 and it's now 7. So if you like this video, be sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications.